Hey everyone. For a while now, Indel has been making the decision to use fairly poor quality thermal paste in between the heat spreaders and dyes as their processors for reasons unbeknownst to science, leaving overclocking enthusiasts to have to look for ways to cool the often insane amount of heat the chips are kicking out. Fortunately, you can fix it yourself by buying a delidding tool like the Delid Dye Mate from Extreme Overclocker Der Bauer for around £27 on overclockers.co.uk or you can buy the Rocket 88 for around $40 and replace the stock thermal paste with a liquid metal based paste such as Cool Laboratory Liquid Metal Ultra or what I'll be using today, Thermal Grizzly Conducting Up. But what not many people know is that there are much cheaper alternatives such as what I've got today, a deluding tool I bought from China for only £5.56 on ebay.co.uk. It's also available for around $7.59 on ebay US. It's compatible with Intel CPUs ranging from Ivy Bridge all the way to current Coffee Lake CPUs. Granted it may not be of the same high quality as the others, but I was interested enough nonetheless. I'll also be testing the before and after temperatures with my own i7-6700K overclocked to 4.7GHz with an NZXT Kraken X61 AIO cooler. So if you're watching this video, it went well and I didn't kill the CPU. So let's move on to IDA64. First we need to get a baseline temperature for our 4.7GHz 6700K without any delidding to be able to see the difference liquid metal makes to temperatures. So I'll leave either 64 stability test which puts a massive load on the CPU, FPU and cache running for about 20 minutes which will allow the 6700K's temperature to reach its maximum and level out and then we'll move on to the delid. After the 20 minute test, the 6700K had reached an average temperature of between 70 to 75 degrees Celsius. However, on one core it did spike up to 91 degrees Celsius, with the other three cores momentarily spiking to 84, 83 and 86 degrees Celsius respectively. This was all with an ambient temperature of 20.3 degrees Celsius. This is where I need to add a disclaimer into the video. If you follow any of this and attempt to delid your CPU yourself and end up damaging or even killing your chip, I'm in no way responsible for the damage. Now it's on to the actual delidding of our CPU. I don't want to spend too long explaining how to do this, as there are numerous tutorials on YouTube showing you how to delid your CPU. But I'll fast forward the video anyway so you can see the delidding of the actual CPU we're using in testing for this video. After a 20 minute test, the 6700K had reached an average temperature of between 55 to 57 degrees Celsius, a massive 15 to 20 degrees Celsius change in temperature, with the four cores of the 6700K momentarily spiking to 74, 65, 66 and 66 degrees respectively, all with an ambient temperature of 19.8 degrees Celsius, showing just how bad the stock thermal paste that Intel uses is. So there you have it, an easy and at only £5.56 or $7.59, a cheap way of delidding your CPU much more safely than other methods. As I said earlier in the video, the delidding tools from Der Bauer and the like are of much higher quality than the cheap Chinese delidding tools, but that doesn't mean that the Chinese ones aren't worth buying, as they still work perfectly fine, and I've also used it to delid my Ivy Bridge Pentium G2120 as well, which also went perfectly too. So if you don't quite want to spend the money that the mainstream tools cost, you have a reasonably cheap alternative with little risk to your CPU. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Hopefully you'll tune in for the next one.